Okay. So after two different types of stripper, clearly aircraft remover is the best. Um, this is what I got. And the painter's tape. Buy the expensive shit. Holy crap. Uh, so I gotta get all that off. I gotta get all of this off. Put my bumper on with the holes in it from the other car. It ruins plastic as well. So remove your third brake light or any other plastic that it's gonna touch. And then yeah, the body damage, still gotta take care of that. Alright. Okay, so now that all the paint is off with the wire wheel, almost well, of it. I now have to get another wire wheel with the last little bits of paint. And then uh got the bumper crush guard off. So I can put my holy bumper on. And then I'm gonna grind the rest of that off on the bottom of the door seal. And then leave the kick panel probably flat black. And then uh go from there. Alright, so I haven't been able to make a video in a couple of days because of this. I mean, I could put it in the back garage and turn on the propane furnace, but I am lazy and don't want to waste the, the power. So, I will be hitting the car again in another day or two when it hits 30 plus degrees outside. blacked in and then the tail lights up forgot to change my third brake light over but got a bit of a grain to it some 80 grit don't know how well that's gonna show up on the video but um, still comes some swirl marks in the hood you gotta be soft on the aluminum obviously but uh yeah I'm digging it <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. 